Some environmental challenges are really controversial. Geoengineering is an interesting one. Now, geoengineering is manipulating the climate, or at least the weather, deliberately. Let's go for the climate rather than the weather. We know we can manipulate the weather, actually. Manipulating the climate uh, has been thought about for quite a long time, and people have talked about such things as seeding the sea with iron compounds, which promotes the development of algae and takes carbon uh, out of the atmosphere and causes it to drop down onto the ocean floor. Um, similarly, people have talked about increasing the reflectance of the surface of the Earth by either promoting uh, light-coloured roofs on buildings, it's just, that's a very simple way of doing it, but also things like floating reflective umbrellas in space, that kind of thing. Now, when you talk about those kind of issues, you're talking about an experiment on the only planet we have where we don't know the outcome. So understandably, people are alarmed about that. Um, now, Britain's one of the countries that has actually a good research reputation in the theoretical aspects of this. What could we do and what might it do? We, d we haven't, by and large, pursued those things, at least only at benchtop scale, not at ocean uh, or planetary scale. But um, you can see why the controversy might arise. People don't want their only home to be, uh, to be damaged or for sort of runaway changes, uh, uh, unstoppable changes to be precipitated. So despite the, uh, the imperative to do something about human-induced climate change, we are very nervous about deliberate intervention at that sort of scale uh, without full understanding of the consequences. And I don't think it's going to be possible, at least on the sort of scale that people have been talking about. But it's, it's certainly uh, something that has been thought about. One thing to add about it, there is, of course, a moral hazard in that. If you start to contemplate the possibility that you could deliberately modify the climate by an intention, an intentional intervention, um, it perhaps takes the, uh, the eye off the ball of trying to reduce carbon emissions, which should perhaps be the, the primary uh, thing that we should be doing. You know, if you have all your faith in, faith in the fact that science might be able to do something without people altering their lifestyles, uh, then that's probably not a good place to be in terms of uh, uh, national decision-making, for example.